here. What is this? It's kind of a surprise. Nope. Don't do surprises. You know I don't like surprises. Trust me, you're gonna like this surprise. I'm not, no! Just this one time, trust me, put your mask on. I don't trust you. You have got to be kidding me. It's a golf shop! I can see it's a golf shop. Why would you bring me to rob a golf shop in the middle of the off season? Are you kidding me? Have you seen the prices for golf clubs? We're gonna make a fortune. Fortune? You brought me to a golf retail store in the middle of the off season in hopes of striking it rich? Yeah, one driver sells for like 500 bucks. Yeah, retail! In the middle of the summer! The thing's like $2.99 now. How does the price drop 40% in five months? Because golf manufacturers are publicly traded companies. They answer to shareholders who like one thing, profits. So if you want to see the numbers go up, you got to make a new golf club every eight months, which takes the value of our five-month-old driver and throws it right in the toilet. So what? That's still $2.99 per driver. Once again, that's retail. Do you own a golf retail shop? No. No, you don't? Knew that. Do you want to give your personal banking information to an online auction website? No. I thought not! Which leaves us with one option. We find a crooked retailer willing to do business with two strangers out of the trunk of their car. Oh, and let's not forget, he's a retailer! He can buy that club from the manufacturer for $199! Okay, big deal. We sell them to him for $199. Yeah! That'd be great if all licensed retailers weren't handcuffed by map pricing, which is minimum advertised pricing. So even if we give him a great deal at a new driver, he still has to sell the driver for $2.99, which is not competitive with online auction cutthroat BS! Well then, he can just sell them on the online auction sites. Oh yeah, after he pays his 15% in fees, shipping costs, and packing material. Oh, and let's not forget, he wants to make a profit! What does that leave us with then? Okay, then what do we do? The only thing we can do. Grab anything that says ping on it, all the Pro V1s we can carry, and cut the copper piping out of the walls. All right. Should we take the martini tees? Are you an idiot? Of course we take the martini tees. Those things are like gold to old people. Should I have my seatbelt on? No, we're criminals. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs>